All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in the house, you guys. Welcome to the show, Secrets of the Minds of a Man, where we talk about how men think when it comes to dating, relationships, and love. Glad to have all of you here tonight. We're going to get into it. We got a good show. We got a good topic going on tonight. So come on in and uh, we're going to uh, blast off. Uh, I want to hear you, all of you guys, your, your comments. I want to get all your comments. Um, and I want to hear what you all have to say on this topic. Y'all know people have been talking about it all day long. And so now it's our time to have a conversation about it. So, um, come on in, come on in. And I would love for you to drop your comments in on the YouTube side, uh, rather than on the Facebook side. Um, because I can't put those on the screen from my personal account. So if you want me to bring your comment up on the co- on there, please uh, jump in on the YouTube side and um, you can. And, and if you don't know where I am on YouTube, type in the love coach It's right there. Type in the love coach and it will come right up. Uh, you get be able to see uh, and you, you'll be able to comment. So as people are coming in, y'all, let me know where you're watching the show from. I would love to hear where you are watching the show from, where you checking us out at. And um, I would love to hear even, you know what? Y'all know what the title is. What happened to Megan and Devon? I want everybody who watches this show, I want you to drop in the comment section, what was your first initial thought when you saw um, the news headline of Devon Franklin? I've heard many things and, and Megan Good. I've heard a couple things. Some people said, I knew it. Some people said, that's terrible. Some people were very sad. Some people were really broken up and and really upset about it. So I want to hear from all y'all. What was (laughs) Dawn? Dawn is already off to a start. She's (laughs) Dawn Dawn Smith, Nettle Smith. She said he cheated. (laughs) Y'all already with the smoke. Already with the smoke. He cheated. Why he had to cheat? Already with the smoke. All right. So drop your comments in below. Let me know what what you guys tell me. I want to know everybody's initial thought when you heard this news about Devon Franklin and his wife, Megan Good. I want to hear all. I want to hear what you guys have to say about it. And so uh, let's let's get into it, man. Devon Franklin. Go and bring him up here on the screen a little bit. Devon Franklin, he's with his wife. He's a, a Devon is an uh, is a producer. He's a he's a director. He directs some some great films. Uh, he has his own lane in Hollywood. He's his own man. He runs his own operation in Hollywood, and you know he's 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 the man in his lane, right? Devon Franklin is also a minister. All right. Devon Franklin is a minister. He is, um, he's a, a minister in the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Now, some of you may know that he was a preacher, but maybe you didn't know that he is uh, a minister in the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Now, for some of you that may not know what significance that is, um, that is a very, you can call it strict, very disciplined um religious uh and christian uh sect very very strict right they have uh very strict rules on on what code of conduct is acceptable right they know they look they don't play around and uh you know they have things like people don't they don't they don't eat uh pork they don't i think many of them are vegetarians like like there's some loving beautiful people though you know, people, I, I heard people making comments, these church people, this, these church people, that. No, no listen, Seventh-day Adventist people are some beautiful people. They're very kind. They they, they are, um, they're just awesome. It's an awesome church to be a part of. So don't, don't kick him. Don't kick him. All right. So Devon Franklin, like he goes there and now. He, so he's a minister. He's a, he's, he's this guy um, who's in Hollywood and he finds Megan Good, right? Now he he gets with Megan Good, and when he gets with her, um, 
They they're together for almost nine years, almost nine years. And they they're married. They're um, you know, they decided now before they got married, you guys heard knew, um, they decided that they were not going to have sex before marriage. They were a big proponent of um waiting, worth being worth the wait. They did it, they were so much until they they wrote a book about it, right? They wrote a book about it uh, being worth the wait, okay? And they, they they had a book tour, went around the country, speaking on being worth the wait, waiting until marriage to have sex. And, you know, a lot of people were really blessed by what they did. A lot of people were really helped by, by their work. And so, you know, they were able to really impact a lot of people. And so then they got married. They had a nice fairy tale wedding, beautiful thing, and they began to live together. Now, uh, I want to play. I'm going to show you guys something. And uh, and my girl, hey Stephanie, she said I heard because one person didn't want children and the other did. Sad to hear. Um, there are a lot of issues here. Um, some of you may know, you may or may not know that um, they were challenged by fertility uh they were having a fertility issue for the last five years they were uh, they were challenged with fertility issues and and they were trying to get pregnant um and it didn't work it didn't happen and uh so it's very it's very it's very un, un it's, it's very unfortunate right and so uh so stephanie i don't know that one person wanted it and the other person didn't it could be possible it could be possible being with uh, someone like, so just it's, let's say Megan Good herself, right? A female in Hollywood has a short shelf life, right? She went from the cute little girl to the sexy woman, playing all the all the good all the get 'em girl kind of parts, right? And it, it you know it's very difficult to keep all of that up, all those balls in the air, and but but so. The clock is against the female actress, right? The clock is against the female actress, right? The clock is working against the female actress. She only has a limited amount of time before she can no longer do the roles that she's taking. Like, how long can you play a 20-year-old? How long can you play a 30-year-old single woman, right? How long can you play those roles until it's time for you to play the mom, <laughs> right? And mom roles are not like sexy siren roles, all right? And so she's losing time on that. Now, listen to this, y'all. She also had to make a decision on what it's going to be, right? Because let's say they, they were trying to get pregnant. You get pregnant, you're going to have a child. You're going to want to be with the child at least for another two years. Well, now she's 41, right? So that means you're going to be out, out of the spotlight, out of the Hollywood uh, mindset. And then if you stay out too long, they forget about you altogether, right? And she knows that. So she, uh, um, a Hollywood actress is on a clock. She's got a limited time amount to, to do her career. She's got a limit. And then she's, you know, her, her age is a factor. Right. And so the time is clicking, ticking on her to make a decision on what her life is going to be. Right. And so uh, I'm going to show you guys. I want I want you guys to see something that. Me, I want you guys to see something that this was in the People magazine. I don't know if I can make this bigger. I'm trying to make this bigger for you. All right, this was in People Magazine. This is what um, Devon Franklin's statement was. Check out the statement. <clears throat> After much prayer and consideration, we have decided to go into our futures separately, but forever connected. Megan Good is 40, Franklin is 43 share in a joint statement. 
Now, somebody needs to tell me something. I, I need some help with this, y'all. I need somebody to tell me what that means. What does that mean? And okay, after much prayer and consideration, we have decided to go our. Now, are you trying to tell me that God in your prayer time told you to break up with your wife? Is, is that that's what you're trying to tell me? <laughs> when you finish praying, the Lord said, break up. Is, is that what the Lord said? Because because um, not that long ago, you said the Lord said she's your wife. So is the is she your wife? Did the Lord say she was your wife? Or did the Lord say she you should break up with your wife? With so, somebody help me out with that. Somebody, somebody help me out with that. After much prayer and consideration, prayer and consideration. All right, my girl Sherry, what's going on, Sherry? She said yes. She froze her eggs. <laughs> she froze her eggs. Okay. She froze her eggs. After much prayer and consideration, we have decided to go take go to into our futures separately. All right. Decade of marriage together and a love that is eternal. Wait a minute. A love that is eternal? Well, who's, who has a love that's eternal that's breaking up with their wife? Who has a love that is eternal that's breaking up with their wife? Some, can somebody help me with this? <laughs> Because this this is like it's, it's going in all kind of ways here, all right. Celebrated almost a decade now. What, listen to this, y'all. We listen. I'm breaking this down tonight, y'all. Look, we celebrate almost a decade. Y'all know what almost means. That means we're looking forward to. That's what all almost means, right? As opposed to just saying nine years. Why would you say? Why would you say a decade? Almost a decade. Just say nine years. Oh, okay. Because he, he's trying to save face. That's what it is. There's no one at fault. Lie. That's a lie. <laughs> Somebody's at fault. We believe this, this is the next best chapter. This breaking up with your wife is the next best chapter in the evolution of our love. That's bull. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going for it. I'm not, I'm not going for it. You're not going to tell me that that's the next best. That's the best. We believe this is the next best chapter in the evolution of our love. They continue. We are incredibly grateful for life changing years we spent together. And now we breaking up. Come on, man. Come on. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. Now I want y'all to see something. Before, oh, hold on, I'm gonna bring my boy Marv in because he, he he gonna want to hear this. My my boy Marv is is in the building. What's happening, good brother? What's up, my brother? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Help me out with this, brother. I, I I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not understanding. I'm miss. Am I missing something? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> as the, as Queen would said, another one bites the dust. Man. Dang. I'm not understanding. Tell, talk, tell me, tell me your thoughts on this, man. I'm kind of torn though because, you know, you know he's a preacher, so you know, you you look at it on the aspects of, you know, does he have grounds for divorce? But we really don't know. So my thing is, man, I'm just praying for the brother and praying for the sister because this is it's it's crazy. It really is. Mm. It really is. And, um, you know, so listen, a, a lot of there's, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of people scratching their heads. Yeah. Um, because I'm not sure how you could say that the Lord get, sent you to hurt this wife. You prayed and the Lord sent her and now you prayed and the Lord sent you sent, sending her away. Um, help, help, help me out with that. And that's the thing. It's like, man, what kind of oh, it's it's rough because it's like 
what message are you sending, right? And in nine years? Nine years. It's a long time. It's a long time. So then you say, okay, you are pre... So so my, my issue, my biggest issue is if it's a celebrity, okay, one thing. But this is a preacher, so... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know, I've heard, I've heard guy. He he comes with some good word. Yes, he does. Uh, you know, he's he's theologically sound, word based. So I'm 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 torn because it's like, dude, I don't have all the details. So then there's a compassion to me to want to say maybe he's covering her, which is a good thing. Yes, he, he's he's definitely covering her. But yeah, but but how you break up with her and cover her at the same time? That's the issue. Help me. Help me, yeah. Because I'm I'm missing something. I I don't I don't get it. Check out this, uh, Marv. Check out this yeah. uh, this comment um, that that this brother had to say. Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay, so this is what she said. Okay, uh, just on uh, in June, in June 16th. Just in June, not okay. number nine. Yep, six six months ago. Best decision I ever made. She said, to the love of my life. Yeah. My, my husband. Husband. Yes. Purpose mm-hmm. partner. Yes. Happy anniversary. Nine Stop years. Right. Stop yeah. right there. Stop right there, Marv. Yeah. <laughs> purpose partner. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah. What if, happened if, to that? If this is your pur- purpose partner, what, what's going on? Did, did, you, did she stop being a purpose partner? I'm not. I'm not getting it. Check it out. He said she's. And, and this. This is her words. She said, yeah. "This makes number nine and eternity." You go. She probably meant to go. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, th- does this sound like a woman that's getting ready to break up with somebody? No. All right. Let me read on. She said, "You are the best decision I've ever made." Yes. Besides loving Jesus, ha ha, yeah. Mm. <laughs> she said, "I love you." Check it out, Marv. Yeah. With everything inside, inside of me, mm. man, man. Listen, I know, I know. People might have read this, but I wanted to read it slow and intentional so you can get the gist of what we're talking about here. Mm. Right in this life, check it out. Hold on, <laughs> hold up. In this life and in the next. Mm. That's you, that's serious. T- bro, she Ugh. she loved this man. She loved him and, man, and, and going public with it. Going public. Going public with this. This is this is this right here. I don't care what people say. Like, yeah, they had fertility problems. They've been trying to get pregnant for five years. Understand yep. that. Yep. Yes, yes. Um you know, she's got this new movie out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where where is she doing uh she doing the dirty? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she 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 she's skimming the bottom on this movie. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, but she's been an actress all this time. Yeah. He's even I even heard him say um uh when they talked about a uh you know doing the scenes. Yep. sex scenes, he encouraged her to make it look real. I heard mm. him say, make it look real. Right? I, don't, I don't know, bro. So so he's cool. He's cool with the with the acting. Yeah. He's you know, he's you know, it's, it's not her fault that she couldn't get pregnant. Nope. Um, is it the church people? Like, are the church people putting too much pressure on you? Because when you make a risque uh movie and the church folks Sit, look up to you as their first lady, and they see you. Um, you know, <laughs> I it, it it was the the movie was very it was very uh, you know. Well, I think was, though, if deep, I was so. if I was him, I'm gonna be honest with you. Talk to me. I wouldn't have set it up. I I see. I don't know where we get this premise. First lady. It's unscriptural. It's unbiblical. If it was me and I would have married her, I would have I would have brought her in and said, "Listen, she's not nobody's first lady. We're not doing that here." I would have set the structure. She's my wife. She's here to be a help meet to me. Mm-hmm. Her job is to help me to work with God to help me be the best man 
the pastor I could be, the best. I, I wouldn't have put that expectation for her to be no first lady. Because now that what because what that would do is that remove all that pressure on her. She don't. Who said we need to have that? Who says pastors need to have their wives up there preaching and 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 having all these responsibilities? Well, guess what? She she took the check. She she look. She she took, she took the check and went on a road on a book tour See? next to her husband and promoted the you know worth the wait. Okay, beautiful, right? It's a lot of responsibility. It's a lot of responsibility. You you took the you took the position. And they said she she knew my man's a preacher. She said she said I heard her say it. God told me that was my husband. Yeah, but she could be a husband, but she don't have to be a first lady. And that's what if, but, if but, I was. Him, but if, mm -hmm. wait, wait, but he didn't just start being a pastor. He been right. a pastor. You're so right. if, if she gonna be with him, she's mm -hmm. insta insta first lady. Insta, see, but insta. see, but you can you can nip that in the bud. How? I mean, I. I, I, I listen. If I if guy ever calls me to pastor, which I don't want to, because I would want that's a lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. And I'm married. I'm I'm gonna set that expectations. If my wife is not, because you know I've seen pastors put their wives up there. They're 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 not. It's it's you could tell it's not their office. They're not comfortable doing it. I've seen it. I've seen it ruin a lot of marriages with women who were grew up in the church. Women who were. <laughs> Wasn't a movie star, mm. so I don't know, man. I, I I I just looked at it that way. I I think I think he I think a lot of this too is him him succumbing to pressures of the people. Mm. I personally would say this is what I got me a Hollywood wife. This is who I chose. She don't want to be no first lady. She want to be my wife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's how I would have structured that. So then that way people don't have to be saying, well, she's our first lady and she's doing all these movies and she's wearing all this. You remove all that. She's do, my do, wife. Do you think you really can remove all of that? You, yes. If you if you set your church up that way, you can. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yes, you can. Mm -mm. Listen, um, people are who they are. Yeah. And they <laughs> do what they do, do and they, they do. have an expectation of what they have an expectation of. Yeah, you're right. Okay, but they didn't. They didn't just start being how they are just now. Okay, they right. are. They 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 have an expectation of the role. Listen to this, uh, Mar. The there's a there's an expectation for the role of the head deacon at down at the church down at Second Baptist. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> there's a there's an expectation of the role of the trustee down at the down at uh you know yeah. shallow or baptist uh, on fifth street okay mm. and there's a role of the pastor yes there is a, and there's a role for his wife yeah, you're you're right I, i'm i was really surprised that he married her i, I didn't understand i didn't really understand why mm -hmm. he did that mm -hmm. i don't but that's you know Wow. That's a lot of responsibility. It's hard enough being in a just a, reg, a relationship with you know a, a a woman who's just you know has has a regular job, but a, mm -hmm. ooh, man, yeah, that, yeah, that's a lot. Hey, check it out. Check out what my man Robert Lee said. Mm -hmm. He said he said it's the same situation like Megan and Harry. Mm. <laughs> look, yeah. look, you guys. I I, I dropped the um, the link to the actual YouTube show. So yeah. you guys, if y'all want to make a comment, uh, drop your Me comment. Too, yeah. click, click the link on there and drop your comment actually on the on the uh, YouTube side. And uh, I because I, so I, I I really want to put it up on the screen. So so what you think about that? Um, he says, my man Robert Lee. He mm -hmm. says same situation as Megan and Harry. Megan and Harry. Um, Meg, uh, Mar uh, Harry marries an outsider essentially. Outsider. Yeah. And she had to she had to conform herself. To be what was expected of the people. Yes. Okay. People had an expectation of who the wife of um, the Duchess of whatever he is, mm -hmm. <laughs> the Dutch. I don't know how that what that falls to be, mm -hmm. but there was an expectation, and she couldn't say no. Couldn't say no. Because if you say no to uh, the position, you, yeah. you you have to also say no to the man. To the man. And, and you don't oh. get any of that. So, so what did she do? Came in, tried to try to dance the dance, couldn't Ooh. take it, 
and told her, man, get me out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> and my man gave up the whole kingdom. The whole kingdom. He he did he didn't do what he didn't do what uh what what your man uh, uh Devon did. He just mm. my man just kicked his wife to the curb. <laughs> <laughs> he just kicked his wife to the curb. Ooh. But, but but Harry said, you know what? This is my wife. Yeah. I love her. I've pledged my life to her, and it's me and her, even I if I gotta her. give up the kingdom. Mm. But Devon didn't do that. No. Talk to me. Talk Devon to me. did not do that. Talk to because I mean this that's Devon. This is all Devon. This is who De but see Devon is to be honest with you, he he's into he's uh he's a really wealthy man. He has a lot of assets, he has you know production companies, he he does a lot of other stuff besides you know being a pastor. Mm. So I'm just I'm I'm complex with this one, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I got a couple of comments on the on the Facebook side. Okay, uh, what they think? <laughs> Sharima, she said, I really I'm really starting to lose my faith in a good, faithful husband. <sighs> hey, come and on. That's bro. the scary thing. She said, shake my hand. It might shake my head. Men be weak. See. This is Devon's fault. See. <laughs> And we out here, we out here fighting, fighting, <laughs> fighting for brothers. You know, fighting to say, hey, hold up now, let's change the narrative. This is Devon's fault. See what see what uh, Devon has done to us. Mm. <laughs> Man. But here's the thing, though. I I, I do want to I do want to say this. I do I do feel that every time a relationship does end, I do want to change the narrative that it's always the man's fault. Mm. Because every time you know there's a breakup or something happens, oh, he must have cheated. When you know if we just we're gonna put some facts out here. You know, almost eighty to eighty five percent of marriages, especially in African American communities, women are leaving the husbands. Mm -hmm. And I know all these men ain't out here cheating, right? Right. <laughs> right? And the divorce rate in our community, I want to say, is all what sixty sixty five percent. Right. So. I, we don't we don't want to put that out there because you, you got to look at what's happening in the society. You got 80, like 75, 80 percent of women, black women leaving their husbands. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely happening. It's happening. It's definitely so happening. we, we, we want to change that narrative. We don't know. Unfortunately, you know, they're, they're covering each other, which is is a noble thing to do, mm -hmm. um, which is also a, a something I'm not really understanding. But I'm I'm going I'm to let it ride for a minute. I, I, I just don't. Like, like if you, if she's enough to cover her, yeah. why isn't it enough to work on your marriage? Now, my boy, James uh, Bush, he, he went to one of their conferences mm -hmm. and he, and he heard him say that they both, uh, like, I, I think they, they both went to therapy separately and then went to uh, premarital counseling together. Right. Yeah. Now, I don't know if they continued that. But it just seems very hasty to just kick your wife to the curb after you give her a great comment on her new movie and just just on December second, December second. Well, I will say this, bro. Most most marriages and and, and most marriages, I, I you know, end because someone was offended mm. or they were upset, and mm -hmm. someone's choosing not to walk in forgiveness and love. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. you know if, if, when it's all said and done, can you imagine some of the conversations or the struggles they're having of wanting to have kids and That's not having kids? That's a lot of That's pressure. Lot, then the struggles with you know having being a pastor, she's coming mm -hmm. in from the outside. I can I, I just you know I, I know that they've been through some stuff and maybe some words were said. Yeah, but I, I I do know that when 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 most when most folks get a divorce, it's because someone is choosing. You've offended me. You've said something to me. You did something to me, and I choose to not forgive you. You did me wrong. Your words you said to me was wrong. I'm gonna leave as a result of it. Yeah, and that's 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 the real root of why marriages end. To be honest with you, yeah. Check what out your this. Thoughts on that. All right, all right. So the, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna respond to that. Let me let me play this little clip. Okay. Uh, this audio clip that I got. Mm -hmm. Y'all got. Y'all let me know if y'all can hear it. Uh, 
Okay, let me try something else. All right, come on. All right, here we go. Burn the couple split on Tuesday after nine years of marriage. The actors met working on the 2011 film Jumping the that, Room and tied the knot in June of 2012. Yeah. The former couple shared in a joint statement that no one is at fault for the split and they are incredibly grateful for the life-changing years they've spent together as husband and wife. Six months before publicly sharing their decision to divorce, Good and Franklin posted anniversary tributes to mark their ninth year of marriage. Good writing in part, you are the best decision I've ever made. I love you with everything inside me. And as recently as December 2nd, Franklin celebrated his wife by touting her new Amazon Prime video series on social media. The duo frequently documented their romance for their fans, even writing a best-selling book in which they share details about their courtship, values, and how saving sex until marriage was the key to success in the relationship at the time. All right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know, bro. Well, you know the thing too, bro. You know, I, how do we handle disappointments? How do we handle disappointments and when expectations aren't met? Hmm. How do we handle that? Right? Because you get married, there's certain expectations. I'm sure you know the he had, she has, and when those expectations aren't met, how do we handle? Do we sometimes become resentful to that individual? These are just questions you just got to ask because this this happens in relationships. Yeah. When yeah couples yeah. get together, I have an expectation. You're going to do this. <clears throat> I'm going to do that. And when they ain't met, how how does that party react to it? Yeah. You know, that's that is um, that's a that's a big thing. And at some point in time, everybody is going to let you down. There's going to be mm -hmm. somebody who doesn't do the thing that you want them to do but like like where is the forgiveness where yes. is the the grace yes. you know um the now, love. Now, now check this out mar i got yeah, i got i got another spin on this talk to me mm. so are you telling me mm -hmm. could it be possible mm -hmm. that this whole thing was a scam mm. that For nine years though no check it out bro okay talk to me they they went up, took their um, this whole thing of them being celibate and and their whole mm. courtship, right? Marv, they cashed in on their courtship. Yeah, yeah, they did. They cashed in on their courtship. They they got a check. They went out, did speaking engagements. They wrote books. They so sold books. They sold courses. Like like they did the thing. Yeah. Right. And they did it publicly. Now, so I think this is why why it's so it's so bad because yeah. they did, they did it all publicly. Yeah. But when it's time for you to get divorced, you just mm -hmm. do a quickie little thing and yep. you just, you just privately. Hide. Yep. You just you know you you put her away privately. Privately. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, so so I got a little bit of an attitude, bro. Yeah, man. Because I, I feel like he's putting her away. Yes. And I, look, I feel like this. If you if you gonna cash in on the ride up, yes. right? You you should have you got to turn that camera on and say, hey y'all. I know I'm I've been praying for y'all on Instagram. Y'all, you saw that. You remember that you yep. seen them? Seeing mm -hmm. them pray, praying for folks. I yep. remember one of them New Year's, one of them mm -hmm. New Year's. He said, I'm praying for the people. And mm -hmm. she was up talking and he was praying for the people. And mm -hmm. or he had a hand on the chat. On the, I remember all that, right? Yep. So if that is the case, Marv, you come before the people, the yep, people who, who you trusted, did, yep. who you came before, mm -hmm. who trusted you. You come mm -hmm. up before the people and you say, y'all, yep. we struggling. No, that's the right thing to do. We struggling. That's the right thing to do. Hey, y'all, we just left marriage counseling. Yeah. yeah. And we need y'all to pray for our marriage. Pray yeah. for, for like, you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. for me, I I would have, I would have took it better when you find out that they got divorced than to see that six months later, this lady, it had six months ago, this lady was, was dedicating her life 
her yeah. soul, her everything. He is my, I dump my whole self out. Essentially yeah. is what she said, right? Yeah. For, yeah. for this man, for this life and, and in the next life. She said, not only this life, but this life and the next life. Talk to me, bro. Well, I will say this, that I, I kind of want to blame the church too. Okay, bring it. Because there is a biblical model that you did describe that if there's issues or concerns that, or if you have sins, that we're to confess our sins, right? There's supposed to be an atmosphere. We can't, we don't have that in churches up today because we just don't live what we're supposed to. But there is a biblical format that if there's some concerns or sin that we should be able to come before the elders, talk about it, get help, right? And get restored. But we don't have that in churches today, you mm. know. And I, I just want to know who was my <clears throat> man's support group, who's his covering, mm. who, who. That's what I'm concerned about because we're ultimately, like the sister says, this is this is giving the church a this is giving this is giving the church a bad name. Your pastor mm -hmm. broke, mm -hmm. and you 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 was you was really coming with it that you was mature that mm -hmm. you you know everyone looked up to you. Yeah, so with, with discipline. Yeah, yeah. You know, you had structure. structure. So what? My my question is, I'm concerned about who's his counseling. Who who who's he submitted to? Who 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 was he able to go and and to speak into his life and to and to and to help guide them to yeah. you know before he made this decision? And you know, because a lot of times you have pastors out here who just long ranges. They really don't have any accountability. They don't really have covering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, or someone that they can walk with and and pray with them and help encourage them. So that's 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 the first thing I thought of. Like, who does, who, you know, who's who's this, who, who's covering this guy? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> he, he, I mean, when you're doing this, you definitely have to have some kind of covering. Like somebody yeah. has to be able to step in there and, and you know, essentially like that's supposed to be like what the groomsmen and your in your wedding supposed to be. Yeah. Like they're supposed to be like your support system to help you stay together. Stay together. Right? Yeah. There's no way that he ran this by his boys and they were like, yo, dump your wife. No way. Yeah, because he filed for the divorce. He filed for divorce. Yeah. There's no way his boys told him this was a great idea. Yeah. He ran this by his people and they said, you know what? Drop her. Yeah, that's he no dropped way. the brother dropped. And here's the thing, you know, because you know, I've been harping, you know, I'm always promoting women holding women accountable, and I always say we men hold each other accountable. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely my brother dropped the ball on this one. He way. dropped the ball. He dropped the ball. Let, let's he, let, let, let's look at this um this this thing here again at towards the towards the bottom. Um, because you need to hear what his response was when she emptied her heart uh unto the brother. Okay, right. So um, she, you know, she, she ran her thing through. I love you with everything inside of me in this life and in the next. All right. So for him, the preacher and live free his, his book, he, of course, they dropped his book. Um, that, and he got a couple of books from, from this. But um, mm, mm, mm. he wrote a message on Instagram, a good message. He says, I love you, my love. Mm -hmm. Happy anniversary number nine and that was pretty much it that's it oh man bro yeah man it's like it's a tough one man and and you know what's so sensitive to we don't know oh it's a this is this is not a good look for the brother not at we all. are here fighting for us man we fighting for men not at all. But this, when you got brothers like we, we, we gotta, we gotta say, nah, man, that ain't good. Because at the end of the day, especially if you know she wasn't able to have children. Yes. Man. Yes. She must be in pieces tonight. Yeah, man. I, I so, can't get man. Yeah, she must be in pieces tonight. And if that's the case, you know, us men, we gotta, we gotta come to, we gotta call my brother out on this, and we gotta rally and say, listen, nah, bro, that, that's not good, man. Mm -hmm. Which we do that anyway. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. do that. We do that. We we men hold. E I always say women. I don't believe they hold each other accountable. But us men, we do that. We be like, nah, man, that's not cool, bro. Am I right? That, that's right. That's right. It's that's not right. A good look, man. That, look, there's no way that he ran this by his boys, and his boys said, "Yeah, well, dude, man, you do, dump your wife. Yeah, 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 she, yeah, she's trash. She's for the streets. Like yeah. all of that. That you could adopt. There's so many other, other, you know. Yes. Nah, man, you don't do that, bro. Yeah. And I know it had a lot to do with the fact that they weren't able to have kids. Hmm. Because, you know, men marry because, we, you know, men yes. want to marry and men want to yes. have kids, too. Yes. But you don't put your wife. Man. Yes. yes. It's a tough spot to be in. So man. so check it out. When, when um, mm. check, check out his, his line, this this third paragraph, he said, we are incredibly grateful for the life changing years we've spent together as husband and wife. Mm. So life changing years. Did, how much? How much life changing were they that you yeah. say I'm done with them? Yeah, man. He mm. life changing. So what's next? Yeah, bro. This not gonna be a here's here's the sad thing though, and I'm probably gonna get ridiculed for this. Talk. Maybe down the road, there's other women who'll be wanting to pick this dude man, up. Man, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? This 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 player here, um. Mm. He, now he gonna make the next woman wait too, and she gonna say, "Well, what you gonna dump me after a few years? You yeah, gonna make me wait and then <laughs> and then dump me?" Yeah, like, I mean, bad, man. lack of character, bro. It's bad. This it's is bad. not a good look, man. And I really was thinking about this today because I didn't really, you know, I me. Mean, I don't like, but you know, we 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 are taught as believers. We're believers. We're the judge. We're the judge the righteous. Mm -hmm. So yes. we as believers can say, "Hey, man, you." Yes. You know, you're making us look bad, bro. You're making yeah. Christ look bad. This ain't right. 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 Now, those who are outside, we lead them alone because they don't have the antidote for the sin virus. Yeah. But we have the antidote so we could say, hey, man, nah, bro, this ain't. And I I honestly believe, I really believe men are going to start calling him. He going to get, he, he going to get really cute for this. He should. He should. Um, uh, You know, I heard somebody, you know, I'm hearing a lot of guys who are kind of outside the, like, you know, the body of Christ and just, just people like saying stuff like I knew it. Yeah. See, I, they said, I knew it. And I, I don't really understand that. Like, like <sighs> I, I, I knew it. Mm. They, maybe some of these people, and I'm, I'm hearing it from people who have never been married and everybody that I know, including myself, who's been married knows how difficult marriage is. And for you to say, I knew it, I knew they weren't going to make it. Like, mm. like, uh, now, now somebody earlier today said, I didn't think that they were a good fit in the first place. I agree with that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Right. But to just be like, I knew it. Like, I, I just, I just think that, um, <sighs> I, I you think it's disappointing. Hmm. This is disappointing because, you know me, man. I love God, and I, I'm a believer. I love, I, I love the, I love the kingdom. I love the message of the kingdom. It's just, man. It just, it just doesn't reflect good on the testimony. Imagine if dude could have hung in there. Yes. Imagine how much glory God could have got from this. Yes. And how much unbelievers could come to Christ based off of him loving her. It, yes. It, right. It, in the same way it happened um, in, in the beginning with yes. that. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. So, so now yeah. it just messes up the the yeah. whole credibility, man. They're like, see, that's why I don't be bothered with, right. with the church. That's why I don't want to be bothered with. And some of these people, they came, they was waiting for something like that to happen anyway. That's what they meant by I knew it. Yeah, man. They Pray said, they, brother, they say, man. they said you can't turn a, a, a H into a housewife. See, and I wouldn't even call her that. Yeah. I wouldn't see, and we gotta not do that. Yes, because if she was a if she was a soul, and I believe that girl was, I believe that excuse me, that woman gave her life to Jesus. I believe she was sincere. She was sincere, man. Sincere, she man. Sincere. You, you, she you, sincere. You, yeah, man. I'm not gonna. And we all change. We all got a past. We all was delivered. That's mm -hmm. why we we're part of the kingdom. He got yeah, uses man. imperfect people to reach yeah. imperfect people. We ain't Absolutely. perfect. No, nope. but. Not so one bit. Look, but man, dude. Not one bit. Now listen to Marv. So my, my point 
I, I heard what you had to say about that. Talk to me. So my my just my thought is is just that I just I just don't want to feel like the, the man and this woman use their platform to make money and um you know to like cuz cuz it all made money for him it, it was it, it made sense for him yeah it made money it made sense and then you get all you get along and it doesn't work and you just cut it and you don't show the struggle that you having like you showed the success run that you was having like you giving the, you giving the advice on the mm. on on the, on the way up and people can follow you on the way up and then you get up there and you say wait wait a minute you know um it, this ain't working out this ain't working out yeah. you gonna break up with it because it ain't working out man but you know I, true I true see. faith bro, brother true faith is fighting through when everything is crazy <laughs> That's true faith, man. Not <laughs> like you said, just, you know, when it gets all crazy, just throwing in the towel and say, I'm done. That's how your faith is. That's how we grow in faith, man, yeah, by man. enduring. Yeah, now, I haven't always been here. I've given up. Yes. But as I grew and I've learned, mm -hmm. I've learned like, dang, that was a test that was exercising my faith. Mm -hmm. And I walked away from that. Yeah. Yeah. He's, this guy's this guy's going to feel that. He, yeah. He's going to feel that, that, that this was, this was a test. That he walked away from, and um, so we look. We got some comments. <laughs> My girl Kamika uh, Pinnell, she said, "Their wants and needs have changed. Mm. They are better off making money moves." She says, "Career goals may have been a big factor." Mm. My opinions. Do you think the career was a big factor? Yeah, you know, I tell you, man, that love of money, boy. <laughs> I think that's what's destroying America's greed, man. That good old greed chasing that dollar. That's the God of this world. Mm -hmm. Greed. So you mm -hmm. can get caught up, man. Mm -hmm. Chasing that unrighteous mammon. Yeah, man. <laughs> yes, and, and, and it feels so good. Oh, that's the most, that is the most, you know, and I don't, I don't, I don't like mean to be preaching, but that is the most destructive sin that we deal with is that unrighteous mammon, that mammon, that spirit of money. Chasing yeah, that money, I, it destroyed a lot of people, man. It's good, and it, a lot it, of men of God. It, 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 listen, it's hard. It's hard, buddy. It's hard to tell. But you know that how money, much? Man. How much is enough? How much is too much? How much? How much? How much? But here's the crazy thing, brother. We ain't taking none of that with us. We ain't taking not one. <laughs> Well, we got decade we came in this. We're not taking none of that. I'm not nope. taking my house, my cars. Nope. I'm not taking any of that with me. Nope. So nope. what good is it to gain all that? Yes. Right? And and lose that which is important. Hmm. Now, so 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 let's talk about the future for for a situation Damn. like this. Yeah. Uh the future. The future. She is now, what did that thing say? 40? Yeah, man. Or or was it 41? I think she's 40, 40. She's 40. 40. Okay. <sighs> she's 40 years old. He is 43 years old. Mm. Um yeah, is, is, is she likely no to ever find mm -mm. love like this again? Well, normally I would say no. But I hope that, you know, God will show her favor and send her somebody, you know, just for her and for what she's endured. <laughs> that would be my prayer. Yeah. But we know normally once you, you know, we know normally as you get, you know, black women are now she's a little different because she's a star. Is she uh, different? Well, not really. She, she ain't. Now that I think about it, she isn't, brother. Because at the end of the day, you know, that the, the Afri black women get married, what, one out of four? Yeah. And, and you look and, at Hollywood, got a lot of sisters that are single, Vivica yeah. A. Fox, the list goes on. Yeah. Mary J. Blige. They, I mean, all these, they're, they're single. They got yeah. their careers, but they're single, no mm -hmm. kids. So uh, it's unfortunate, man, because it, she it had is. a husband. Yes. Um, it, it is unfortunate. <laughs> look, my, my girl, um, Kamika, she, she chose violence today. She said, mm. um, she said, I believe Franklin is a swinger. <laughs> She said, and good 
is tired of it. She says she she probably happy to file divorce it because he already moved on. Look, you mm. don't know. You don't know what going on in these people's houses. You and, don't know. And behind closed doors. It's just sad, though. It is sad. It it's is sad, sad because you knew they were trying to conceive and have a child. And I really think the woman loved the man. Yeah, that you think? Nine years. Yeah, yeah, she loved him. But like, and but, she gave but, up a lot of movie roles and stuff too, because she kind of like Kate pulled back a little bit. Mm. And and she kind of she put her marriage, you know, because you really haven't seen her in much since she was with them. Yeah, yeah. She so like going forward for yeah. for her, uh, I think she's gonna. I think she'll. I think she'll bounce back. I pray she um, does. You know, I don't think she she won't be signing up to be uh, the first lady nowhere. Uh, no. Uh, from now on, <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's going to be happening. Um, but I think it's going to be a real journey for them. For them. For them. Yeah. Now for he, him. For him. Yeah, it's unfortunate. He he he. he you know, because it's easier for a guy to move on and find someone to get remarried. But but he's he 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 didn't put us brothers in a good light. No. No. Because we're fighting to have our one thing. Black women have been taught. Not to trust a black man. Hmm. That's been passed down from grandma, mom. Don't you trust a black man? Go get your degree, get you a career, do you, girl? Right. Mm -hmm. That's all based out of fear or mm -hmm. experiences. What's happened to them? Now you have a. Now they're gonna be like, see, look at what she did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at Megan. See what happened to Megan. See what happened to Megan. <laughs> yeah. You see. Man. Yeah, yeah. This is what upsets me when us brothers drop the ball like this. <clears throat> because you got good brothers out here fighting, saying, nah, ladies, we need you to trust us. We need you to, you know, work with us. We 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 want to have babies with our sisters. We want to have families with our sisters. And then you get guys like this that are just selfish. Because that's all it was, man. Everything is showing that my man was just being selfish. Yeah, yeah. My man Tevya, um, my, my frat brother, he said, Now, why is that? Why are our sisters in Hollywood or music industry are single? Well, I mean, because why you know, are they single? Mary J. Blige and them. Why? Why you, they all? You, a lot of times you're choosing your your career over the man. Tiffany Haddish, or your your man or your husband is your career. Yeah, your yeah. education, your degrees, your PhD. That's your mm -hmm. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I used to, I, when I worked in corporate America, I would hear, especially Caucasian women, I would hear them ridiculing other women who said, I want to quit and, 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 um, I want to quit my job and I want to raise a family. Mm -hmm. What? You're going to give up your career? I, I would hear these women just ridiculing other women because they decided, I want to, yes, I got this career, I got this mm -hmm. degree, but I want to have a family. Mm -hmm. And I would encourage the young ladies. I'd be like, hey, you know what? You're doing the right thing. Don't listen to them girls. Mm -hmm. They're going to be broke and, and lonely and miserable. You're going to have your kids. You're going to have your family. Mm -hmm. Go do it. They, they thank me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, it, it's, it's really unfortunate, man. And, yeah. uh, you know, but for, for our sisters, you know, I want to I want to encourage. I want to encourage our sisters. Yeah, man. You know, we here for y'all. We here for you. And even even for somebody who like who's in the position of a Megan Good, you know, um, I, I want to encourage even the sister who who mentioned this in in the chat that she's losing faith in in yeah. in men and marriage, and, and I want to encourage you don't don't do that because do all that. all men are not the same, just like all women are not the same. Yes, okay? you know what I I went to you know you know I went to divorce. Everyone knows it. My wife she knows she wanted a divorce, mm -hmm. and I've had my brothers who. Married to the to that to the Caucasian women, man. You need to come on over on this side, Marvin. <laughs> these are, that? Th listen, these are brothers who've been married to their 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 wives for years, built mm -hmm. businesses, homes. You need to come on over here. And I said, Nah, man, I'm not going to give up on our sisters. Mm -hmm. So I believe there's some good sisters out there. So what we need to do is we need to just not give up on each other, humble ourselves, try to coexist you know walk in humility mm -hmm. you know look out for each other you know we don't have to have that competition because it's no. killing our community man no. it's destroying no. our community no we, we we definitely don't and and uh i always talk about getting to self-awareness yeah right 
getting to the place that you know who you are. So yeah. let's let's just say for mm -hmm. speaking sake, for talking yeah. sake, talk to me. That the that the girl couldn't swim in the shores that she do that she jumped into. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Um I I got to give it up for the brother for trying to um cover her and to assist her through it. Yeah. I, I saw what I saw that clip when, mm -hmm. when the lady like went in on her about oh, I saw that how, mm -hmm. how she was dressed and she saw mm -hmm. her on the news. He stand. jumped on her. And he jumped on her. He was like, Yo, that's I, yeah. I like what she wear and I want her to keep wearing it in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So mm -hmm. so uh you know, on that, I gotta I gotta give the man the props yeah. and, and tell ladies, look, there are men who will fight for you. That's right. There are men who, who love you. Men who, who care about you, men who are not out to dog you, out That's to right. kick you to the curb, yeah. you know, like like there yeah. there are good men out here. They are, and they and, and they're and they're still getting married. I was at a wedding this weekend. I'm, one of my frat brothers got married this weekend, and, and we yeah. were all there supporting, loving, encouraging, right? So mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Men are still getting married. Men well, are still you know, loving black women. men. Eight, well, eighty eighty six percent of uh, 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 they said blacks marry within uh, within our cultures. It's it's real high. Mm. Um, I mean, there is a great percentage. Of, I want to say it's like thirty five to forty percent of men date outside the race. But that we could talk about that on another segment. But a good portion of brothers, you know, we 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 want we want to marry our sisters. Mm -hmm. You know, so I I say that for sisters to be encouraged, but we need our sisters too to 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 work with us, yes, yes. <laughs> to allow us to protect them, to Absolutely. allow us to be the man, to allow us to to be the to be the to be leaders. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So so we I think I think we we well covered uh, this right here. We yeah, <laughs> he's incredibly grateful um to <sighs> for the for the many years, and so. <sighs> Look, yeah. I, I I encourage um, you know him to get stay in therapy. If he's in yeah. therapy, stay in therapy. Stay in the place with your with with your with your church. You know, I'm not sure that you he should be in in he, a leadership no, no, position he, right he, now. He, he need to set his tail down. He needs to sit and here's down. another problem: we've had too many people, prominent so called preachers and leaders going through divorces and going through this and they don't sit they tail down and this is this is what happens yes there's yes. i mean back in the old days mm -hmm. they would say listen here brother you need to you need to take a couple of years and you need to sit down yes you need to go yes. get right yes yes and and yeah. there's no, and there's nothing wrong with it because oh. if you yeah. act like it ain't, it ain't it ain't nothing happened and you keep going you start evangelizing for pain yeah you you yeah. become the banner for pain. He's not fit, because because I mean even according to scriptures, and I gotta say this because he's a preacher. You know, if you says you want to be a bishop, you want to be a leader, you want to be a pastor, you gotta love, you gotta be have one wife. You there's there's, there's criteria, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you're not able to lead your wife, how are you able to lead a church? Man, oh we. How are you able Tough, to lead man. a congregation? You can't even lead your family. So at that that there alone, he need to sit his tail down. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. He's, he it, need to sit down. Yes. All right, y'all. Well, look, drop, drop, drop your comments down below. I, I still want to hear all the uh, the comments. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Man. Um, uh, I want to definitely continue the conversation. Um, if, as you watch this, I need y'all to hit them thumbs up. If y'all heard this, if y'all enjoy the show, if you heard anything, don't just come through here, watch and leave, and don't <laughs> and don't leave us no uh, no no yeah. digital currency. Um, I would love for you guys to also subscribe on the YouTube side to the show and you can watch the, uh, the shows and all the other shows uh, that we do right over there. And um, so, Marv, give us your give us your final thoughts on uh, this topic tonight. And then I'm going to drop uh, a little something and then we're going to be out of here. All right. Well, I'm just going to really just pray for both of them, you know, that. You know, they, they just really just pray for just both of them. Just, just, man, it'd be nice if they, you know, would humble themselves and kind of like allow God to re reconcile them. That would be good. But I mean, I, I'm just going to pray for both of them, especially her. 
Mm-hmm. You know, that's this is dev. This could be. I, I really, I really feel for her. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. to be at the age she is, don't have the kids, and now you're divorced to have to start all over. That's rough. Yeah, it's rough. That's rough seas. That's, that's rough, rough seas. man. I feel for her. So yeah. I'm just go pray for her and pray for him that my man that he he humbles himself and he really truly repents and get his life right. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, well, what what I want to say is uh, that this stuff is not easy. Yeah, life, life is not easy. Um, and for him, understanding, you know, people have to understand what they're signing up for. Yeah, right. And when you stand out front mm-hmm. and you um, perform as the model mm-hmm. of what what uh you want people to follow what you follow christ follow a strong black man follow um you know all of that um i think you owe the people something not this cap that we got right here yeah not this cap you owe we owe you owe the people more than this 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 statement that you gave This confusing nonsense that keeps us confused. You owe the people more than that. And just to say, look, I I I messed up. <laughs> look, I ain't seen nobody. He said, he said, they said it ain't nobody's fault. That's a lie. That's a lie. Don't come up here lying. Tell the truth. And because it's somebody's fault, there's no such thing as a as a no a, a clear and no fault divorce. Like that's not what no fault divorce means. <laughs> okay, so um, I, I think that somebody it's got to get honest about what's happening and and decide that uh, if if we're going to lead, let's lead. Yeah, falling down is not the problem. Mm-mm. Admitting that you fell down, yeah, is you know is the issue. Not yeah. admitting that you fell down and getting yourself up is your. And it's okay to it's okay. We all fall, fail. We all fall. We all, all missed the mark. All, all. There's nobody who has not missed the mark. We all That's missed right. the mark. So, it, so and until I hear that, yeah, I'm siding. I'm riding with with Megan. I'm right with Megan because because she's because she seems to be the most honest person. I'm right with uh, Megan in this situation. This this, this dude's lying, and yeah. uh, and and I'm not riding with him. I'm riding nah, with Megan. Nah, I'm a rock with Megan, Megan on this. He 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 uh, he's the spiritual leader. He's yeah. the he's the pastor. The you can't be divorcing your wife, bro. No, and and say I prayed, and and this is what yeah. What... <laughs> and I've done it in the past when I was younger. I blew it. Yes, it but it still cost me. It cost you. You cost. understand what I'm saying? It cost, cost to yes. to there's consequences to this thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you guys look, I need y'all yeah. to go ahead and hit that thumbs up. I need you to hit them, hit them hearts. I need y'all to give me some love here and uh hit share on this video. I'd love for you to hit that share button as well to um to you know let somebody know what you what you're listening to, what you're thinking about. I would love to hear your comments, uh, your concerns, what y'all think about the show. What y'all think about this topic and your thoughts on this subject here tonight? All right. Look, I would love for you guys also to join the Patreon community. I'll drop the link um, in here when we pop off the Patreon community. You can support the show for just five bucks. This is low, show, as cheap as five bucks. It helps the show. Um, and we've got exclusive content all over there. So uh, come on over to the Patreon community. I would love to have you as a member. So, um, I think I'm not sure. This is we, we winding down the year. I don't know if this is going to be the last show. It's the 21st, probably not. <laughs> I like to take it all the way. I like to take it all the way. So we'll we'll see how it goes. But thank y'all so much for being here tonight. All right, so, man, have a merry Christmas, brother. Yes, sir. Merry Christmas to you. Peace and take love, care, yeah. lady, y'all.